We unlock the stage with keys of magic and imagination. Beyond it lies another dimension. A dimension of sound, a dimension of sight, a dimension of mind. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. Women. 
you're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of solitude and togetherness. You've crossed over into the wedding zone. Picture, if you will, two fathers. Each has an unmarried eldest child, each lacking their soulmate. Each father has decided to take matters into his own hands. Posting an advertisement in search of a spouse for his child. Is it mere coincidence that both of these ads appear in the same paper on the same day, in fact, on this day, here, in this theater? <laughs> I think not. What could happen when these parents meet? Let us find out. Quite an interesting uh, establishment. Yes, it is. What brings you? Uh, what brings you here? I was hoping somebody might answer an ad I placed in the newspaper. Although I see another one that I'm going to answer myself. Oh, really? Same here. Which of these is yours here? You got a lot of them. This one here. This one. Ah, I see you circled it. This one here. Really. I thought I would answer this one. This one right here. Oh, that's the one I was interested in. So maybe, maybe we can make a deal. Sure, let's make a deal. Well, let's try. Okay. I got all the stuff we need here. Let's start. Make it good. Perhaps. Yeah. 
Yeah, drink for me, boy. You must drink. Should I get married? No! Oh. <laughs> oh, that ain't yet. So it's uh, it's 1542. Have her here at slow today. Virginia. <coughs> Good, you're all ready to go. We found you a husband. Oh, this is what I got. Oh, thank you, Daddy. <laughs> You did a good job, Dad. You definitely do. <laughs> Looks like our work is done. Good evening, everyone, to this presentation. <laughs> We are assembled here today because love gathers us, and especially because love has found Angela and Dave, and 
woven them together into the great web of life. We are gathered to remember and rejoice, to recount with one another that it is love, always love, that leads us to our true destination and to celebrate that Angela and Dave have finally arrived. We have come together also to honor the paradox that choosing one is the leaving of all others. And destination is the beginning, and joy shall bring tears to our eyes. We are here to celebrate the marriage of Angela and Dave, and to honor the beginning of their new life. Divine light that illuminates our hearts and gives life to each cell of our being, we give thanks for the love that has gathered us to together in this place, and especially for the beautiful, heartwarming love that Angela and Dave have chosen to consecrate in marriage. For all the beauty that you have lodged in them, we give great thanks. For their open hearts and loving spirits, for their wisdom in choosing to love, for their willingness to walk the path of true love with all of its joys and burdens and lessons. Bless them now with your joyful, abundant radiance so that the words they say, <coughs> the feelings that beautifully transform them in these moments and the dreams that they dare to dream can be lived out in their married life as illumination incarnate. Amen. It has been my good fortune to know Angela for many years now, and if I may say, her presence has always been as a chorus of merry music and laughter, bringing joy to all those around her. Now she has found David, who reflects her joy and brings her the same gift that she gives to others. Love, friendship, inner strength, and peace of mind. I know that David has a stout heart a keen intellect and a warrior's way in his soul. So, I see now a balance between them that brings me great joy. And, as well, joy to all of their friends. And if I may say one thing to those assembled, as well as the powers that be, it is this. Woe be to anyone who would cause these fine people discord, because frankly, they just don't know who they're messing with. <laughs> <laughs> Now, know now, before you go further, that since your lives have crossed this, in this life, that you have formed ties between each other. As you seek to enter the state of matrimony, you should strive to make real the ideals which give meaning to both this ceremony and the institution of marriage. With full awareness, know that within this circle, you are not only declaring your intent to be married before your friends and family, but you speak that intent also to your creative higher powers who would like to see you. <laughs> <laughs> the promises made today and the ties that are bound here greatly strengthen your union. They will cross the years and lives of each soul's growth. Do you still seek to enter the ceremony? We do. The rings you have are made precious by wearing them. They carry your meaning. They say who you are, where you have been, and where you are going. They become them. They reflect you. They are a symbol of truest essence. <coughs> know that upon wearing these, you are the symbol of your love, your bond, and your hearts upon your sleep. In times past, it was believed the human soul shared characteristics with all things divine. It is this belief which assigned virtues to the cardinal directions, east, south, west, and north. It is this tradition that a blessing is offered to support this ceremony. Blessed be this union with gifts of the east, communication of the heart, mind, body, and beings. A new beginning with the rising of each sun, with the comfort of being together in both speech and silence. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the south, the warmth of, heart and, of hearth and home, especially when Angela controls the thermostat. <laughs> <laughs> the heat of heart's passion and the light created by both to lighten the darkest of times. <laughs> Blessed be this union with the gifts of the West, the deep commitments of a lake, the swift excitement of a river, 
the refreshing cleansing of rain, and the all-encompassing passion of the sea, and the hope someday of traveling to the gray havens. Blessed be this union with the gifts of the north, a firm foundation on which to build fertile fields in which to feed your bees and enrich your lives and a stable and spacious home to, make, to which you always may return. Each of these blessings from the four cardinal directions emphasizes those things which will help you build a happy and successful union. Yet they are only tools, tools which you must use together in order to create what you seek in this union. I bid you look into each other's eyes. Dave, will you cause her pain? I may. <laughs> Is that your intent? No. <laughs> Angela, will you cause him pain? I may. Is that your intent? Never. Will you share each other's pain and seek to ease it? We I will. will. Angela, will you share his laughter? Always. Dave, will you share hers? Always. Will both of you look for the brightness in life and the positive in each other? We will. will. Angela, will you burden him? I will try not to. <laughs> Dave, will you burden her? I may. <laughs> <laughs> will you share the burdens of each so that your spirits may grow in this union? We, we will. will. Angela, will you share his dreams? Forever. Dave, will you share hers? Always. Will you both dream together to create new realities and hopes? We, we will. will. <coughs> Dave. Will you cause her anger? I might. Is that your intent? <laughs> Never. Angela, will you cause him anger? Possibly. Is that your intent? No. Do you promise not to blast each other into space without first discussing <laughs> the cause of your anger? We will. <laughs> <laughs> Angela, will you honor him? Yes. Dave, will you honor her? Always. Will you seek to never give cause to break that honor? We will. <coughs> Though life's hazards may try to pull you apart, get it out here. This bungee cord of love <laughs> will keep you together. Get it off my belt. <laughs> the knots of your binding are formed not by these cords, but rather by your commitment to each other. The cords themselves are merely representative, for as always, you hold in your own hands the making or breaking of this condition. <laughs> Still got the ceremony. <laughs> now, having freely chosen to leave behind the private vigil of seeking self-knowledge in solitude, and having freely taken up the task of loving and supporting each other with the gift of your rings and your bungee cord to each other by the power vested in me by higher powers and the state of Ohio. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss the bride. <laughs> brought you to this day and all that you will become henceforth bring you strength, happiness, and joy forever, fulfilling all that you are in life. Amen. Now we're going to be recessing, literally. <laughs> All right. You've married off your sister. Now it's time for you to get married off. Doctor! <laughs> Hi, <laughs> Dad. Hi. I'm not. Yeah, there's a party down the street. We should all go. <laughs> you 
Ouais, ouais.